I think that with the moral hazard argument off the table, the other arguments, oh, we're sure to mess it up. Something worse is sure to happen. This is just superstition out of uh, the novel Frankenstein or some early fantasies of um, uh, Faust. It's really almost uh, uh, Goethe's Faust, the, the myth of if we were to use our own invented powers, they would be devilish and we would doom ourselves to a worse fate than even if we had tried to do something. The proper way to apply that myth is industrial civilization itself has torched the planet by accident. You don't have to uh, um, uh, suggest there was malign intent. Burning of fossil fuels looked good until we discovered that it its waste was going into the atmosphere and changing the climate. So um, the whole myth of, oh, something worse is sure to happen, that always also needs to be challenged. It's not true. If we lower temperatures around the earth for a couple of decades while we decarbonize, that might keep millions from dying. Now, there might be, and this is where experiments could come into play or modeling exercises or further discussion, it might be that doing this in particular ways might harm the monsoon or change rainfall patterns. But the truth is that it's the rise in CO2 has already harmed monsoons, has already changed rain patterns. And we cannot distinguish what's happened because of the rise of CO2 that we've put there and the Pinatubo uh, eruption in the Philippines in 1991 or 94. So what I'm saying is the monsoon, like any weather patterns, is already irregular, partly because of us, partly because weather is always irregular. So there's no sure science saying if we do some solar radiation modification, these bad side effects are sure to happen. That always needs to be challenged. We simply don't know.